hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a photography flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started the first go to your file then you select new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 for social media post and leave your resolution at 300 then you can turn your background to white or you change it to transparent any one you want so what for me in this tutorial i'm going to leave it this way then you click on create all right so the first thing now i'm going to copy the color code in this tutorial so over over here is the color code i'm going to copy it and this is the font i'm going to use then go to your solid color then ctrl plus v to paste then select your rent angle then you draw it this way and i'm going to pick a color from here copy this color ctrl plus c to copy so this is the shape i'm going uh, this is the color I'm going to use for the shape. Then over here, I'm going to rotate this one this way. Then position it over here and we reduce it a little. It's okay. Then select your rent angle and draw another rent angle like this. And this one, I'm going to use a round shape. Then go to your property and I'm going to turn off the background color and apply a stroke. Then over here, I'm going to use 3%. You can also use 4% to so the one you want. Then I will drag it over here. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. And this one, hold your Alt key while you drag it like this. Okay. Then I will select the two and increase the size. Then come over to this one, hold your Alt key, then you reduce it. Then I'm going to leave it like this, then go back to your property and apply the fill color, then remove the stroke color. Then you will have something like this. Then I'm going to increase it a little okay then having done this one so the next one i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then i'm going to rotate it this way then right click and flip flip it vertical then flip it uh, horizontal so something like this Then come down and now we position it somewhere here. So having done this one now, so another one I'm going to do, then I'm going to select this one. Then now we duplicate it. reduce the size like this and also rotate it hold your shift key while you rotate it and now we position this one like this then on this one go back to your property 
and I'm going to amend the corner shape over there by reducing the size then it's going to be like this and also I'm going to reduce it then the inner one hold your shift key then while you reduce it this way then increase the size like this hold your shift key and reduce the size of this one all right so having done it this way so the next one i'm going to do now i'm going to select it all and now we group it then drag it over here okay then i will go back to my background to import this camera over here then i will turn this one off so that i will see what i'm going to do over here all right so now i'm going to rasterize it then select your smart object and i'm going to select this area over here then hold your shift key then while you select all these parts okay then i'm going to change it to this minus or you can hold your alt key then and remove the area you don't want it to be part of it something like this okay now i'm going to delete it then select your polygon lasso tool ctrl plus d to deselect so now i will it will enable me to see the area i'm going to cut out then i'm going to cut out all this area Then combine it and delete it. So control plus D to deselect. So now you can see the outcome of it. Okay. Then now we increase the size. Then rotate it this way. And now we take it up like this. Increase the size. Something like this. then you can make it more better like this now i'm going to my blending mode and change it to overlay then reduce the opacity to 53 percent then like this then you can now turn this one on and i'm going to increase the size all right so the next thing again then i will also duplicate this one then hold your shift key then you drag it up like this then you also drag this one up then you can change the color of this one to any color of your choice to identify it then on this one i'm going to import this image over here you reduce the size something like this then you create a clipping mask 
then you will have something like this. Okay, then the, on this one, I'm going to import this image over here. Reduce the size. Right click and create a clipping mask. So that is it. Alright, then you close it and I'm going to turn it off again. Then I'm going to create a cycle. Hold your shift key turn then to create a perfect cycle like this. Ctrl plus A to select all then apply vertical and the horizontal alignment. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So you might also change it later. Then I'm going to my property, then turn off the fill color and apply a stroke white color, then increase the size to 3%. If you want, you can make it 4%. Then I'm going to duplicate it again, Ctrl plus J then and reduce the size like this and this one i'm going to change the stroke color to this color over here then go back to the same layer and uh, now open your fill color so that you can create a clipping mask on it then on this one i'm going to import this image over here then reduce the size the before then i'm going to apply a Gaussian blur then make it 2.8 percent or ratio now i'm going to right click and create a clipping mask then you fix it inside Okay, so over here, this is what you will have. Then I'm going to group it together, then turn this one on. And this one, I'm going to take this one up above it. Then this one, select it, and I'm going to drag it up this way something like this then select the two you can increase the size then it's okay like this all right so i'm using my arrow key then to bring it down all right so after this one now so the next one i'm going to do i'm going to bring my test then ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and i'm using the font commissioner over here Then you bring it down like this. Then this is the font color I'm using. The Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you can use this one to adjust the color brightness. Then it's okay. And after this one, then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, and I'm going to change the font to England Signature. 
then change the font color to white and increase the size of the text I will position it like this then reduce this one then go back to your test document and now we copy this one ctrl plus c then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and bring it to the top then drag it down select your test tool while you align it then ctrl plus v to paste now reduce the font size And now we take it to this position. So now you can see what we have here. I think it's okay like this. All right, then come over here then I'm going to copy this one ctrl plus C to copy and before then I'm going to select my ellipse tool and draw a perfect cycle like this then select this color over here and now I'm going to rasterize it then select the market tool and uh, alight it like this. Then right click and cut it. Then select the one you cut, then flip it horizontal. Then hold your shift key while you drag it like this. Now go to your drop shadow. Then apply drop shadow. So over here you can see I make use of 0% for my distance. Then the spread is 1 and the size is 9. The opacity 100%. If you want to increase the spread, then you can increase the spread so that the, the shadow can come up. But it's okay like this. Then click OK. Now select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, and uh, I'm using the font England signature over here, then increase it. And I'm going to reduce the character spacing to 40%. Then I'll position it around here then select the test tool and I'm going to type this percents then you can use the font commissioner for this Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then you position it over here. Then select your test tool. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now make it bold. So I'm using semi bold over here. And I will bring it and position it over here. So now hold your shift key and select it. Then Ctrl plus G to group it. And then I will position it around here. I'm going to select the test. Use my arrow key then to drag it up. 
all right then hold your shift key select this one also and group it control plus g to group then i'm going to copy this test here control plus c to copy select your test tool the control plus v to paste All right then on this test i'm going to use medium then reduce the size like this then control plus j to duplicate it and now we drag it over here like this then come over here to copy this one Control plus c to copy then select your test tool highlight it then Control plus v to paste if you want you can apply a drop shadow but i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave it this way it's okay something like this all right so the next one now i'm going to do then i will copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then i'm going to select my pen tool And over here, I'm going to select like this. Then I will draw it like this. Hold your Alt key, you click like this. Then I will have something like this. Hold your Alt key, then you click over there. Something like this. Then hold your Alt key again and I'm going to group it. Now you can hold down your control key to adjust the nod here. Then I'm going to this delete anchor. I will delete this one then create something like this so this is taking time than i expected okay so i'm going to leave it like this then I will reduce the size then I'm going to select this color over here then now select your test tool and I'm going to then I'm going to drag it like this then reduce your font then over here then reduce the space then increase the font then I will have something like this okay then the next thing I'm going to do now then you reduce the size to the way you want it something like this okay 
Then after this one, then this one that I copied before, then I'm going to select my test tool and I'm going to paste it over here. Then reduce the size and now we place it here. So something like this, then use semi bold for the test there. I'm going to select this icon, then import it, reduce the size, then Ctrl plus U. For hue and saturation then apply a white background color then i will i'm going to turn this one off then over here i will select the rent angle draw a rent angle like this and i'm going to apply a shape here also over here something like this then apply this color and now we make it lighter then bring this one down and turn it on okay so the next thing now, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to use medium on this one, then change the font color to this color, then make it lighter. Then position it around here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Highlight it. And change the font color to white. Then come over here to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And on this one, I'm going to make it semi bold or make it bold all right then i'm going to increase it like this then i will select this one increase the size then group it use your arrow key then to bring it down then you can adjust it to this position. Then this one, select your test tool. And I'm going to adjust it like this. Then select your test tool. A control plus G to group it. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to do now, then I will select my ellipse tool. Then I will draw a perfect cycle over here with white background then I'm going to duplicate it then apply this color over there and now we do something like this so 
that is all in this tutorial thank you so much for watching please if you like this video kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video don't forget to share thank you so much for following i really appreciate